Did you know you could run pre-search nodes on your Flux node? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do just that. For the low cost of one Flux per month, you can run between four and five pre-search nodes on your Flux node. At today's price of $1.26 per Flux, you're looking at a hosting cost per pre-search node of about 31 cents per month. This is much less than other traditional virtual private server services, such as upcloud.com, RackNerd, or Amazon Web Services that can range anywhere between three and $10 per month. So I think it makes sense for anyone that's running both pre-search and Flux nodes to run pre-search nodes on your Flux nodes. Flux and Presearch are two of my favorite disruptive cryptocurrency node projects. Because you want to disrupt a supply line. I will link the previous videos where I covered these projects in more detail in the description below if you're interested in learning more. So for some quick background on Presearch, Presearch is a decentralized cryptocurrency search engine that's not looking to sell your data. They're trying to take a slice out of the search market from the Googles, the Bings, the DuckDuckGoes of the world. You can actually get rewarded in pre-search tokens every time you make a search on the pre-search search engine. Signing up for an account with pre-search is completely free. I'll put a link in the description below. If you use that link to sign up, you'll actually get 25 free pre-search tokens. You can also get rewarded in pre-search by running a pre-search node. Currently, to run a pre-search node, you need to stake 4,000 pre-search tokens, and then you either need to use a VPS service, or in this case, we'll show how to use Flux to host that pre-search node. And by hosting that pre-search node, you'll actually get rewarded costly in pre-search tokens. At today's price of just over 7.9 cents per pre-search token, you're looking at a cost of $316 in pre-search tokens to run a pre-search node. Now, unlike many other what I call fake node projects out there, you don't actually lose your pre-search tokens when you run a node. You're actually open to close down your node at any time and sell your pre-search if you decide you no longer want to run a node. There's no staking time period and there's no loss of pre-search tokens when you're running a node. I currently run 79 pre-search nodes. Some would probably say that that's way too many pre-search nodes. Okay, okay, that's too much, too much. But I think that just reflects the enthusiasm that I have for this project. Next, a quick background on Flux. You can really think of Flux as a pick and shovel play for Web 3.0. They're providing the infrastructure for people to run their new web projects and applications. There are various different tiers of Flux nodes, with each tier having different staking requirements and different computing requirements for your server. At today's price of $1.26 per Flux, you're looking at a cost of $1,260 to purchase Flux and run a Cumulus node, plus any hosting costs that you'd require to run that node. But similar to pre-search, you don't actually lose your Flux when you're running a Flux node. Oh, yes! 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 You can disconnect your Flux node at any time and sell all your tokens if you so wish. I currently have three different Flux nodes, two Nimbus nodes and one Stratus node. Flux is currently my second largest cryptocurrency holding, second to Bitcoin, and that's really driven by the large appreciation in price that we've seen in Flux over the past month where it's more than doubled in price. So now that we got the background out of the way, just a reminder, this is not financial advice. Let's get on to the tutorial. All right, start by logging into your Zellcore wallet. Go to apps, Flux nodes, and here are list all your current confirmed Flux nodes. I personally already have pre-search nodes running on my Nimbus 01 Flux node. So for purposes of this tutorial, we'll run pre-search nodes on my Nimbus 02 Flux node. So hit the drop down and then click Flux OS. So this will get you to the Flux OS dashboard. First, you'll need to log into the dashboard using your Zelle ID. So click the Zelle ID icon and click Allow. And then it'll ask to enter your PIN. Click Sign and Send. And click Close. Then go back to the Flux OS dashboard. Go to Marketplace. So here are all the current different applications you can run on your Flux node. We'll want to click on pre-search node and then I'll ask for your pre-search registration code. So you can get that from going to your pre-search node dashboard and then you'll want to click your node registration code and click copy. Now make sure you're not copying your AP access key. Um, I've done that in the past when I've set up pre-search nodes and it makes it not work. So we'll copy our node registration code and then we will paste it 
in our Flux OS dashboard, and then we'll click Start Launching Marketplace App. So first step, it'll check registration. You can click Next, and then Sign App Message. Click the Zell ID icon and click Allow. Then enter your PIN. Click Sign and Send. Then click Close. Navigate back to Sign App Message with Zell Core. You can click Next, and then Register App, Register Flux App. Click that. Propagating message across Flux network. Then registration hash has been received. You click next. And then final step will be to send payment. You can pay with Zellcor, clicking your Zell ID icon here. Then open in Zellcor. Payment request received. And then click proceed to pay. And then once again, enter your personal PIN. And click verify. So you can see it's we're paying one Flux and with the proper note in there. You can keep this on normal and click send, and then yes, send. All right, transaction has been sent. Then we'll go back to the FluxOS dashboard and we'll click finish. And then we can click close app dialog. So a few minutes later, you should see your new nodes pop up on your pre-search node dashboard. You can see here, I've got eight nodes that have initially popped up. Uh, what I've found with these flux nodes is initially you'll see a lot of them pop up, but several of them will end up going offline over the first day. So I would let these sit for about a day until you see which ones come on and offline. And then once you've got the reliable four or five that are left, um, then you can stake your 4,000 pre-search on each of those nodes. Um, you can see here my flux nodes that I had previously staked um, those have been consistently online um, ever since I've uh, had them up and running. One thing that I found that I have to do each month is I actually have to resend the one flux manually each month. Otherwise, the flux nodes that I'm running um, end up getting shut down after a month's time. What I've found so far is the reliability score and the earnings that I'm earning on these pre-search nodes that I'm running on my flux nodes are very similar to what I'm earning on my Rack Nerd. Uh, hosted pre-search notes. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and goodbye.